Hi everyone, Digga here, and today I have a big bundle of joy. We have two giant pushing boxes. First, we have the winter 2021 box, which finally started shipping. And then we have a bonus from ordering this during the Black Friday deals. This appears to be the spring 2019 pushing box. For those of you unfamiliar, the Pushing Box is a quarterly subscription where you get boxes of Pushing stuff, if that wasn't obvious enough. These are so big, they don't even fit in frame. <laughs> They're huge. There was one that was uh, I really regret missing out on, which was the moon, which had like the cool Pushing moon figure. I love it. Anyway, let's get started. Can you dig it? This box is actually still so long that I, I can't really fit it in frame no matter what I do, so I apologize in advance. What you see right here is the adorable face of Pusheen. However, on the top, oh gosh, on the top of the box, you will see a big old candy cane, bunch of flowers, some cute little uh, gumdrops maybe, keeping with the holiday theme here. On the bottom, you'll see a bunch of toe beans and information about how this is from Culturefly. They do a lot of different crates and boxes and merchandise and whatnot, but they're the main provider for the Pusheen stuff. And of course, on the back, a very tiny tail. Okay, I can kind of fit it in frame for the most part. Since this is my first Pusheen box, I figured it'd be fun to not look at the spoilers for once and see what's inside. So I'm just gonna go ahead and open this up. I'm probably going to just open it right now here, if it can fit in frame, and then put it off to the side and grab things one by one. That way it's a truly fresh experience without seeing everything inside the box. Inside the box, we have a nice big pushing box with a cute pushing print, a little hashtag pushing box for all you trenders out there. Influencers, am I right? <laughs> you have some nice uh, pink striped panel lining over here. That's pretty cool. I'm gonna go ahead and move the box off to the side and start bringing stuff out one by one and we'll take a closer look. Starting off with the thing I'm most excited for in all of these boxes, it's the vinyl figure. And it looks like we have a very cute lounging pushing on a nice pink base with a little blanket ready to rest, a big pillow, a gingerbread cookie, maybe some chocolate milk or hot coffee, and a remote, you know, just nice and lazy, very cute. Off to the side, we have more art. You'll see it's a pushing box exclusive. Ooh, you can't get this anywhere else except for eBay. <laughs> Over to this side, we have a Pusheen eating popcorn, so I guess it makes more sense that that's what was on the top of the box rather than it just being flowers. On the other side, we have information about this being exclusive to the Pusheen box, hashtags, built by Culturefly, the similar stuff you already know. And then in the front, we have a preview of the figure, which is very enticing. I can see that little gingerbread friend in there right now. On the bottom, we have just Pusheen box, warning, Choking hazards, don't eat the cookie. It may look good, but don't do it. So let's open this up. Here we have the Pusheen figure out of the box and it definitely does not disappoint. I've always really liked these figures and there's just something about them that's so calm and cozy. I mean, I have a lot of miscellaneous Pusheen vinyl figures and stuff, but oh, this little guy's rubber. Okay. He's very pliable. He's a very pliable little friend. <laughs> That's so cute. Sorry, I'm getting too excited. Oh, it looks like the, the entirety of the uh, mug is rubber too. The little details you feel as you're experiencing the figure for the first time, you have the little pushing whiskers are rubbery too. The remote is very pressable. The cushions are nice and solid and the blanket comfy, cozy. Little turnaround here. Nothing too exciting over here, but you will see there's kind of like, I don't know if this is intentional, but there's a bit of an inner outline, like the tail is actually sculpted. Pusheen's tail is back there, like they did the whole figure and then just covered it in the blanket. I didn't think they would actually have a little detail like that. Continuing the turnaround, we have um, the pillows are all stacked over here. You'll see it is actually two pillows. One is kind of squished in. You know how it is sometimes when you're sleeping, your pillows get in some weird positions and one of them props up the other one. A little too real. And then of course we have the entire base itself which you can maybe vaguely make out that it says Pusheen 2021 Pusheen box, all the usual stuff on here. Not as exciting as the rest of the figure, which is very fun, very cute, very uh, kind of festive-y. I mean, it's a, it's a winter box, so they, they do have the gingerbread in here. But other than that, it's kind of more, uh, it, it could fit into any collection, really. It's just, just kind of Pusheen, chilling. You got the remote, you know, just having a grand old time. Can't really go wrong. 
Just for fun, let's bring in some other pushings and get a little comparison going here. Starting off with the Baker pushing. Here's a donut pushing. Here's a cool pushing. Here's a macaroon pushing. And just to keep with the theming of winter and whatnot, we have the 2018 pushing ornament. Man, that was forever ago. I could sit here and adore the figure all day, but we still have the rest of the box to go through. Next in the box, we have a glass salt shaker, which is very interesting. I mean, I have no shortage of things that have salt in them, getting salty as a streamer, salt everywhere, but I cannot say I have a pusheen salt shaker in my possession, so I guess now I can say that. It's very cute. I do like the coloring here, and you can see it does stick to being wintry with pusheen having a Santa hat inside of playing in some snow. Keep it nice and salty. Actually, this would be better for sugar, really. Just a bigger version of that nice art on the side. On the back, you'll see it's hand wash only. Do not microwave. Who microwaves their salt shaker? Maybe I just don't understand how the world works. Maybe I should have been microwaving my salt the entire time. On the top, same old, same old. On the bottom, we have a bit of a bumperino here because it's so big, it's like gushing out. <laughs> That's the only way I could describe it. The salt shaker is probably so big that it is barely able to be contained inside of the box. Oh, look at this. There's like uh, some of that really fun foam in here. My goodness. Okay, well, this is definitely very nicely protected. Ta-da! Wow, this is actually really cute. It's got its own little foam insert and everything. Let's bring it out. We have a nice picture pushing as you've already seen. It seems to be etched in there, like it's it's already, uh, it's a part of the jar, it's not a sticker, or is it? It doesn't look like a sticker, maybe it is, maybe I don't know. You have the handle here, ready for shaking. On the top, you will see there is a star pattern, magical, whimsical, on the bottom, hand wash only, although there's no warning to not microwave it, so I guess they assume that from the box, you would know that you shouldn't microwave a salt shaker. This is cute, but again, it's probably gonna be better if you wanna put some sugar or cinnamon in there for your daily coffee or whatever you're drinking. It's nice, I like it. Let's move on. Next up, we have some Cozy Gripper Slipper Socks. I've seen these before. These are the ones that you can just kinda walk around with them and uh, they won't slip on surfaces. You know, sometimes you're tired, it's like 3 a.m., you wanna go get something to drink, and then you just slip. It's a very interesting use case, but it happens, I guess. These are actually really comfy feeling. I've never had these before. I was actually, it's funny because I was looking at these in like a, a CVS or something. Not these specifically because these are exclusive, but I had never seen the, the footed bottoms until then. And I, I thought, you know, that's a fun little idea. You'll see here that you have a nice little picture of pushing it, chomping down on a candy cane. Very festive. Underneath, oh, this is really cute. Okay. There is a, uh, a big stuffed pushing because pushing she has eaten way too much food. Uh, she's got the little Santa hat, but she has a really cool little scarf here with a, a teal and pink going around it. And there is some really nice um, embroidery on the side here. Just a, a very bright, shiny, metallic pink. I like that. I like that a lot. Uh, on the tag, it's the usual stuff. It's exclusive. You know this already. Kind of repetitive. Don't worry about it. Uh, it, it does feel super comfortable. I mean, like, this uh, this is legitimately very comfortable. Both socks have the same image and embroidery on it, and the material is just... Just so... Co oh, this this feels really nice. It's giving me... Uh, it's like a moccasin, almost, but a soccasin for your feet. <laughs> There's actually a sort of... Um, what's the term here? Not like a chain, but... The texture that's going on here is really nice. It's like a cross-stitching... I don't know. I'm not an expert. I just like the comfy stuff. And of course, on the bottom, you have the bubbles keeping you from that uh, slipping, no slip grip. Another another term. I don't know. There's a lot of terms. I don't know them. I just see this cute thing and it feels comfy. Wait a minute. Hold the phone. We got a plush toy here. Oh my gosh. I mean, uh, wow. A, a figure and a plush toy. Jeez, they're spoiling us, Culture Fly. What do we have here? Uh, we have a nice gund pushing. It looks like uh, it's a movie night. Chilling with some popcorn. Shake toys before display. Is that a thing? I've never actually done that with a uh, pushing figure. Also, this probably sounds great on the mic. 
I'm sure it'll be fine. It's not annoying at all. I'm gonna just keep doing it and shaking it and shaking it. What better way to stay out of the snow than to sit back inside and eat a bunch of popcorn while watching your favorite holiday films? We have this very, very nicely done pushing with... Oh, this, this towel is actually separate. I thought that was like, you know, Iron Dawn or something. Nope, this is flappable. You can have pushing just... <laughs> Dun, 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 hero of the popcorn. So this pusheen has a big stuffed face chowing down. She is having a grand old time watching some stuff. As usual of gooned plushies, everything's nicely embroidered, high quality. I'm not the uh, foremost expert on textures and whatnot, but when I see a plush toy, I appreciate it. You have this really, ooh, this popcorn has uh, one of those sort of curly materials. It's very fun. I, I love this texture. And then the bucket has a bunch of stripes on it, red and white. Pushing is pushing, little pausies. On the back, you got the tail. You know it. The rest of the stripes, of course, fully embroidered, high quality. And the blanket itself is a very nice kind of thin material. I want to say it's it's just like a, a nicely stitched fabric, but again, not an expert on fancier plush terminology. I just love the big squishy squish, and this does not disappoint. It's very squishy, very soft, as a goon plush toy always is, and it's an adorable pusheen. And of course, you have the nice lenticular tag that is on all the Goon's pusheen products. You'll see pusheen's tail is wagging. Mini movie night pusheen. That's so cute that they even have little names for them, too. Oh, I didn't realize this is with Spin Master. You learn something new every day as a toy collector. This is great. So nice. Boonk. Looks like we have a big pushing popcorn box to go with the plush toy. Oh, this is really cool. Movie night. So I guess they're kind of loosely trying to do this theme with the fact that it's a winter release. You want to stay inside in the cold. Uh, I, one of my friends did say it kind of doesn't feel like a holiday Christmas wintery box i mean I, I get what they're going for and i can't complain because it's it's all really nice high quality stuff this is made of a, a a nice plastic here the art itself is the same as you saw on the box of pushing eating popcorn it says movie night here kind of stickered like a fake sticker because it's, it's actually you know like etched on or painted on or whatever the term is it's a nice little popcorn box does it extend oh there's two of them okay so you can share a movie night with your friend or you could put the popcorn pushing inside of one of them. That's really cool. I, I was wondering why there was a second layer there. Looking at the boxes on the bottom, just copyrights and whatnot, it's, it's not the most exciting thing. The most exciting thing is that you have two of these. You get these nice little boxes if you want to make some popcorn, share with the family, have a nice movie night, and you can go with the cute plush toy pushing as well. I like it. Looks like movie night is continuing with a big checklist here. There's the Pushing Candy Cane Art Movie Checklist Notepad. It says what movies you want to watch, thoughts and synopsis, movies I've watched, and thoughts and synopsis on those. Not the most exciting thing, but it's probably fun for kids and families. Not sure what I'll do with it. Maybe I'll give it to a friend of mine. It's still nice, though. I mean, there, there's even, like, little smiley faces. and Well, there's a, a smiley face, a neutral face, and a frowny face. Movies I've watched, Home Alone, Smiley Face. A Christmas Story, Frowny Face. Uh-oh, controversial. <laughs> oh, dear. Looks like next is a long sleeve shirt. I have no idea how this is going to fit in frame, but let's give it a shot. All right, well, this is the best I can fit it in, but you'll see it is a big shirt of that really comfy pushing design from the socks and the box. We have a long sleeve pullover here. Pushing candy cane art. Pushing box exclusive as expected. So yeah, definitely we have the theming going on here with the cute little Santa pushing with the sweater. Very nice. I don't really have too many long sleeve shirts. I'm usually a short sleeve kind of guy, but this is very nice and cozy. I, I mean, technically the holidays are over now. As of this recording, it's December 29th, 2021. But this is still really cute. Maybe I can kind of use it during the, uh, the Ides of New Year's. I'm the kind of guy that keeps the tree up until like mid-January because, you know, things just go so fast now. And I barely had time to process that the year was over before I could put up most of my Christmas stuff. Maybe I'll rock this bad boy. Be repping pushing with some nice comfort. And here's a little zoom out so you can see what I had to do to get this to fit in. 
You'll see there's the long sleeves. Ooh, you will be visited by the ghost of pushing past. I don't know what that means. Ooh. Looks like our last item in the box is a Sherpa blanket, which seems to be the same design as the pushing figure. There is literally no way this is going to fit anywhere in my frame right now, so I'm going to have to open this up and get back to you. All right, here is the Sherpa blanket laid out, and this thing is huge. I, again, barely any room to put this anywhere, but this thing is going to keep me nice and warm and comfy. I might just use it year round. I don't know. It just seems very comfy. This Sherpa feels great to the touch. Looks cute. I like it. The actual last thing in the box is this little movie night card, or rather it's the thing that shows you everything that's inside. So don't look at that first because that's a spoiler. So here's all the stuff you get summarized on the back. You can get cozy on the couch and you're pushing pullover, comfy slippers to keep you toasty all season long, snuggle up with the adorable pushing plush during your favorite scary movie marathon. Ooh, you have the Sherpa line blanket. You gotta get cozy with that. Add a little spice to your life with this popcorn salt shaker. You can upgrade your movie night with the pushing popcorn buckets. Do your little list of recommended stuff and get comfy and cozy with the pushing vinyl figure. And that was the pushing winter 2021 box. Definitely a very nice assortment. I'm usually a big fan of getting the figures or the plush toys and anything else is auxiliary, but this is a, a pretty nice starting point and I'll probably keep this figure out year round. Little gingerbread man can stay there. I'll have the uh, plushie out when I'm watching movies or whatever. Shirt's very nice and cozy. The socks, I'll kind of keep them around, I guess. I'm not really going to be slipping on stuff. The movie checklist, uh, not super exciting. Definitely going to be going to a friend. And the big fleece blanket is a huge win. So nice. Let's not forget that salt shaker. That's pretty cute. I'll probably switch over to that. Very high quality overall, and I'm really glad that I was able to get this during the Black Friday sale to also get the extra box, which we'll take a look at now. Next up is the bonus Black Friday box, which turns out to be the spring 2019 pushing. You can tell right here there's a little something stylish. There is a backwards baseball cap because pushing has apparently become a skater girl in this one. It turns out that a lot of these apparently got shipped out in small sizes. I have a friend who got one that was small as well. So whatever's in here isn't going to fit, but... You know, it's a bonus box. It's all about the extra goodies inside. On the bottom, you still have the toe beans, of course. The top of the box is pushing stripes with the hat poking out from the bottom. Or the top of the bottom? The bottom of the top? The, the, whatever. Well, let's open this up. Here's the pushing and the hashtag pushing box as usual. There's not any sort of uh, stripes or outlines or whatever, but they probably just kept this to the normal box standards. It looks like our vinyl figure for this box is a skater pusheen, rocking those rollerblades with the back hat. Very cool. I'm really liking this a lot. On the side, a little high, I am pushing the cat. Meow. On the back, we have the big roller skating pusheen art. One, two, three, four, all of them with the really cute hat. This is really nice. I like this a lot. And of course, it is a pushing box exclusive. Other side is more standard pusheen art. Generic information on the top. Big old pusheen. Nothing fancy on the bottom, as you already know. Copyright 2019. Let's open it up. Here's the roller skating pushing figure out of the box. And what a talented tabby we have here. Pushing is giving it her all with these nicely painted little skates rolling all over the place. Very nice, very chunky. It's not a very heavy figure. Obviously, it's a softer vinyl, but boy, does it look nice. You can almost use Pushing's tail as a little handle as you push her around, you know, skating all over the place, doing sick tricks. Pushing has that very nice snapback hat cap, whatever the term is for it. It's looking very cool with the uh, bright pink and, of course, the teal, a very common color theming of Pushing. The rollerblades themselves have that pink as well. Little connection right here for the paws going into the boots. And then you have the white wheels, uh, the standard pushing figure, very nice, very chunky. You have the whiskers are loosely attached. Well, I say loosely, you know what I mean. These ones are like solidly on the figure and these ones are like loose flowing. It's not the proper term, but you have the painted stripes. You have the tail, very nicely done. Simple, sweet, adorable. Let's bring in some different pushing figures for comparison. Here is a cupcake pushing. 
Here is a green pusheen with a sort of Valentine's Day heart theme going on. Here's a nice little adorable slice of pusheen pie. And here's Pusheenosaurus. Ugh. Looking a little hungry, actually. Here is a comparison with the Winter 2021 Pusheen figure. You can see that they have different styles to them. So sometimes they do just a big chunky Pusheen. Other times there's a little uh, sort of a diorama or something. So that's really cool that they switch it up and uh, give you the best of both worlds in terms of do you want a Pusheen scene? Do you just want a solid Pusheen doing its thing? You could also, I guess, have a little diorama where Winter Pusheen is dreaming about becoming a skater. Or maybe Pusheen is just doing some sick flips. Either way, really cool. Here's an updated look at my Pusheen box figure collection, including the summer 2018 surfing Pusheen. I had to get this rad gal ASAP with the translucent waves and the surfboard and the shades. Are you kidding me? They look beautiful together. So precious. Next up, we have a Gund Pusheen plush toy, which seems to have some sort of a nice sweater on. You'll see that this little Pusheen is super cozy and comfy, you know, staying out of the rain in the springtime. Actually, does this hoodie go up? Oh, okay. All right, all right. Now that's pretty cool. Not gonna lie. That is amazing. I love that so much. You can go into like complete don't bother me mode. I'm trying to stay cozy and enjoy myself. When it's too cold outside, you can just pull this hoodie right over. Pusheen can have all the privacy that she needs. She can be comfy, have a fun time. The rest of the plush toy is relatively standard, you know, for a very happy little Pusheen with nice embroidery and etching. It's a goon plush toy. You know what you're getting. Nice fabrics. Nice high quality material, even the stripes are done as usual. A little tail in the back, you really can't go wrong. And just a quick look at the tag, uh, looks like there is not a specific name for this one, it's just a Pushing Box exclusive. So maybe they're either switching it up by giving them names, or sometimes they just don't have names, it's just Pushing wearing something cute. I like that very much. Well, now the Popcorn Pushing plush toy has a friend to watch movies with. Or at least a friend to join in with some uh, bucket shenanigans. When I was told we were sharing popcorn, this wasn't exactly what I had in mind. We got crew socks. That's right, we have some big pink pushing socks with a nicely embroidered inner pushing etching type thing. These sort of boxes, you know, standard like having socks and shirts and clothing of all kinds. This one is 95% polyester, 5% elastane, machine wash cold, special instructions, interesting. The rest of this is uh, just a standard pink with some striping, which is cute. Oh, um, hmm. A little bit of a strand there. That's fine. Just cut that off, no big deal. The rest of this, basic stuff, pink socks, they're probably comfy, enough said. Oh, we got a pushing roller skating fanny pack here. Wow, what is this, like the big vibrant 80s or something? <laughs> Jeez, this is pretty cool. You have, of course, the rollerblading pushing embroidered on front, very nice. You have the tag, which says it's an exclusive, nothing too fancy. We got several layers of zippers here. We got this top one where you can store your coins, I guess. And then this bottom one where you can uh, store your pusheens, so you could just put pushingzilla in there and you just carry it around your waist and then none would be the wiser. <laughs> Sorry pushingzilla, I, I, I just chose the closest pushing. Looks like it's made of a high quality sort of mesh material here. If anything, it's at least very comfortable. You have a big pink strap with a buckle. Very satisfying click. Also very loud for the camera. Might have to lower that peaking later. <laughs> it's fine. Uh, this seems pretty high quality, yeah. I don't really have a standard for, uh, you know, sacks and bags and whatnot. As long as they're functional and pretty decent quality, I'm good with it. I don't know if this is a super high quality fanny pack or not because I don't, I haven't worn a fanny pack. I, I don't think I've ever worn a fanny pack, but it is cool looking. Maybe I'll, um, maybe I'll give it to a friend actually. Uh, let's see, a very comfy material, uh, relatively high quality, I would say. Again, don't have a big frame of reference. Seems decently quality enough. I'm sure that any Pusheen fan would be happy to be rocking this around their waist. We got a wooden block calendar. Now, I've always been kind of intrigued by these. They're relatively simple and cute, 
But at the same time, it's such a hassle because every day you have to flop the number and then, you know, you might leave it in the corner and you might forget. Pushing wind block calendar, pushing on the side, pushing on the back, it's exclusive. Pushing on the side again, nothing on the bottom, on the top, pushing, 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 pushing. Let's open it up. Here's the wooden block calendar opened up and you'll see it's, again, pretty standard. It's just a relatively nicely done pushing, very basic, a lot of the wood blocks and stuff. Underneath you have all the different months. So for example, to date the video as I've already done earlier, if you want to make it into December, that is this block, you place that in front and today is the 29th. So, uh, well, I guess we're supposed to put these as support. That would make more sense. And there we go. What better way to date your video than to literally have your video's date on the wooden block calendar. It's cute. It's simple. It's fun. It's got pushing on it so that you can use it throughout the year if you want. And now I finally own a wooden calendar. I'll see if I remember to actually change it. Oh, this one's interesting. We have a magnetic key holder. So basically you're supposed to pop this onto your wall and then you can just put your keys onto Pusheen. Simple box. Hang this on your wall and let the magnets keep keys or other metal items in place at the bottom of the holder. Interesting. Let's check it out. So here's the back of it. You see that there's these two spots here for you to hang this onto your wall. And supposedly this is a nice strong magnet. So let's try it out with a few things. Here's a screwdriver. Solid, works pretty well. And here's the base of the lamp I use for recording my videos. Hefty. So yeah, if you just want a cute little pushing on a cloud that can hold your keys in place, this'll do the job. Our next item is a pushing jump rope? Huh, that's interesting. I'm definitely not gonna be unraveling this. What you see is what you get. You got two pushings on a sort of basic pink rope with the handles. Definitely very cute. I think it should be relatively durable. I don't really know though. I mean, kids are very resilient and they are very good at bashing things, exploding things, and these might not stand up to the test of time, but it's pretty nice. It's, um, I mean, I don't really have a frame of reference for it. I just think it's cute. Just keep the bag away from kids and stuff. All I can attest to is the pushings themselves, which are very fun. You have the tail, of course, sticking out. Popped right on top there. I think you get the idea. So, you know, if you got this box, uh, you can give this to your kid and hope that it doesn't break. It should be fine. Everything's fine. Our next item is a pushing yoga towel mat. Very interesting. I already have like a big rubber mat for ring fit, so I don't think I'll be using this. But it looks pretty cute. I'm assuming the entire pattern. Oh, look at the headphones pushing. I was going to say it's just like the, the pushing that has the glasses on. But it looks like there's like a whole jam in pushing. Can I roll this all out? I guess I'll try it in a second. I just wanted to take a quick spin here. Yoga Telemat, Culture Fly. All right. Uh, let's see if I can fit this in frame. Okay, well, the obvious answer is I cannot fit this in frame. However, it is a very nice towel assortment full of a lot of different pushings. You have a sweating pushing after a lot of exercise. We have a badminton pushing. We have a sleeping pushing. We have the headphones pushing. We have the glasses pushing. Oh gosh, how is this gonna work? Down below, we have a little waving pushing. Hello. Here's a better view of the badminton pushing. We have the skateboarding pushing. We have the roller skating pushing. And then of course we have pushing sleeping on the mat itself. Classic. Last but not least, we have some sort of pushing rain hoodie or something. I thought at first that it was a cinch bag because of these ties up here, but it's actually like a full on hoodie with long sleeves and a big hood back there. Take my word for it. It is a small size, so I will not be able to wear it, unfortunately, but maybe I can give it to a friend, as I've said for several of these things. You got the out of office pushing with the shades. Pushing is so happy. She is not working today. She's taking it easy, taking a day off, having a good time with that nice cursive font. The tag doesn't really say what it is. I assume it's like a rain sweatshirt because it's very light. It's very, this is basically just going to be kind of acting like a mini parka. It's, it's relatively thin. I don't really know. But what I do know is that it looks really nice. And uh, I do like this pushing with shades. It's just a shame that I won't be able to wear it. Alas. 
Here is the card that comes inside the box. You have the out of office pushing, showing you all the goodies from spring of 2019. You have the roller skating vinyl figure. Grab your pushing jump rope when you need a quick cardio workout. The microfiber towel absorbent quick drying goodness for your next yoga fitness class. The water resistant jacket. Okay, so that's what that was. If you need an extra layer on a rainy day, some sporty crew socks are comfy and stylish. Keep your essentials inside of this little baggie, one around your waist or over the shoulder. Never lose your keys with the magnetic key holder. Stay up to date with the wooden block calendar. And a Pusheen wearing the matching jacket. Oh, that makes sense. Okay, yeah, so it, Pusheen is wearing that specific hoodie. Don't know why I didn't put those two together. And that was the spring 2019 Pusheen box that I got as a Black Friday bonus for ordering the winter 2021 Pusheen box. That was quite a mouthful. I gotta say, that was pretty stuffed. I mean, you got the vinyl figure, a plush toy, key holder, the calendar, the sort of uh, jump rope back here. You have the little fanny pack, the socks, the yoga towel, and the giant out of office pushing parka. I didn't realize how stuffed these pushing boxes were. Like, all of this fit into the small box? That's pretty crazy. Overall, I think these two boxes were pretty darn good. I love that roller skating pushing so much. And the plush toy, so good. Again, my focus is on the plush toys and figures with all of the rest of the stuff being cool bonus goodies that I'll keep around and play with every once in a while. Maybe not the jump ropes, and you know, some of this stuff can't really play with, but it is cool that they have these as options for people that love pushing, and you get so many goodies. These boxes are really loaded. All right, that was the winter 2021 pushing box, along with the spring 2019 bonus pushing box, and what a journey that was, huh? It was a lot of fun opening these up. There is definitely no shortage of high-quality pushing merchandise. I definitely want to go back and hunt down some of the other figures. Here's hoping one day my boy Pugsheen finally gets his own box. If you made it this far, I'm happy to admit that Pugsheen is my favorite. Thanks for watching, everyone. Bye-bye.